We've not tested the most obvious way to make a vaccine for HIV AIDS, but it potentially could stop the pandemic well before someone invents a better way to do it. There's no way to describe the worldwide epidemic of AIDS, but horrific. In countries like Zambia, the people who are affected are the people who are the prime of their life, who are most creative, most productive, most to contribute every single household, every single family over there has been affected in one way or another. It's a societal issue. Society has got to say, we want to stop this disease. The only way we're going to stop the AIDS epidemic is with a vaccine. You can have therapies and do your best, but in reality, it's prevention that, that stops it. Unfortunately, in the case of HIV, all of the best approaches that are known today for genetically engineering a vaccine have not worked. Bert Dorman for years has been advocating, why don't we look at essentially what Salk did with polio. Let's look at a killed virus vaccine. You took the virus from people who had the disease, you killed the virus, and then you inoculated people. They made antibodies against the virus and protected people from transmission of the disease. There isn't any group of supported, funded scientists who are trying to do what Jonas Salk did uh, with the polio vaccine, namely to work with killed viruses. The classical killed virus vaccine approach, which has worked in the past for many viral diseases, polio and influenza and rabies and hepatitis, and which has worked for animal diseases closely related to HIV. And if it does work, it can be made very cheaply. I mean, diseases have been eliminated with killed virus vaccines. And so you've got a world out there with what now, approaching 40 million infected people. The cheapest, fastest vaccine you can get out there is clearly what we need. It would take only a few years. It would cost only a few million dollars and it could save millions of lives. Given the importance of HIV and the misery that the HIV epidemic is causing, that limiting the number of approaches that should be taken to develop a, a preventive vaccine is nonsense. And if you kind of take the standard ideas, and in this case, kill vaccine, uh, pretty good bet uh, that, that something good may come out of it. Killed virus vaccine is one approach that's worked in the past that hasn't been tried. Almost every other approach that has worked in the past has been tried very seriously with uh, a large amount of funding, with the exception of killed virus. I think there's a moral imperative because people are dying all over the place. Not to try an approach that might work uh, seems to me to be uh, unconscionable. Kill virus vaccine has been tested for years. We know how to do that. We know we can do that. You know, if this does work, this will change the history of the world.